inside this arena and a great crowd as always on hand to check out the best Muay Thai and kickboxing action in the entire country. So now we go into the kickboxing realm, Jason Stroud. We switch from Muay Thai to kickboxing and we'll see a first timer here on the promotion entering the arena right now in Warwick Folk out of Ottawa, Canada, the capital of Canada. He fights out of the N1 Thai Boxing Academy. Very nice young man, an impressive record at 11 and five. His opponent, Kamar Lindsay, 11 and one. So we should see some really good action yeah, coming up is, in this bout. Impressive records here. Should be uh, looking forward to this fight. I don't really know much about them. I, I know a little bit about the gym. Well, I don't know much about the one from Canada, but I definitely know about Art and Sweet Science in Brooklyn. I brought a lot of guys over there to spar. Got quality boxing, quality kickboxing out of that gym. I think they've even produced a couple MMA fighters. And Greg's a great guy, solid guy. But Canadians, man, they always come to fight, that's for sure. They are tough indeed. And now, as you see, Kamar the Lion Lindsay leap over the top rope and into the ring in style as he gets set to do battle in a kickboxing matchup with Warwick Fulk. The last time we saw Kamar Lindsay in the ring, it was his first appearance on Friday Night Fights. It was only 47 seconds that we got to see because he knocked out D'Amico Boyd with a body punch in just 47 seconds. For the official introductions, here's Connor Hall. Get ready for three rounds of action. Glory rules Muay Thai out of the 142 pound weight division. Fighting out of the red corner tonight, he's wearing the red trunks with the white and gold trim, weighing in at 142 pounds. He represents N1 Thai Boxing with a record of 11 and five, four wins by way of knockout from Ottawa, Ontario, Warwick Fulk. And fighting out of the blue corner, he's wearing the blue trunks and weighing in at 140 pounds. Representing Arden's Sweet Science with a record of 11 wins, one loss. From Brooklyn, New York, Kimar, the Lion, Lindsay. All right, gentlemen, we went over the glory rules in the dressing room. We want a nice, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. In case you have a knockdown, go to the neutral corner I tell you to go to. Remain next till I call you out. Any questions over here? Any questions over here? Fight fair, fight hard. Touch them up. Well, here we go, live on Facebook. You're watching Friday Night Fights, the season premiere for 2019, and this should be a good one. A kickboxing rules matchup scheduled for three rounds between Warwick Folk, Canadian born and raised out of N1 Thai Boxing Academy in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. Fights under crew, Naren Fialkowski and Charles Lazone. On the other side, it's Kamara Lindsay in the dark blue trunks out of Arden Sweet Science Gym. They, and Greg Arden in a little uh, little quick start from Warwick yeah, Folk as the two not are wasting touching any gloves. time, are they? Oh boy. Told you them Canadians. Gotta watch out for them. It's like cold nine months out of the year. What else they gotta do but train? Warwick Folk loading up here. And you can see these two guys. You know what I liked about Folk right there is he threw the kick and he got kicked back and he doesn't really react to it. What I mean by that is he's not like trying to block late or move out of the way. He's kind of like accepting the fact he's getting hit so he can keep his body in position to fire back. Two athletic young men right here. You can tell both these guys are primed and ready to go. And a southpaw from Sweet Science. For a while there, all of his boxers were lefty, so when I needed sparring from my guys, I'd lefty sparring, I'd call Greg up and take him over there. And he used to make a joke that all of his boxers were lefty and his kickboxers were right-handed. So it's nice to see a southpaw kickboxer come out of his gym. Kamar the Lion Lindsay, 11 and one with three KOs to his credit. One of those KOs coming in his Friday night, Friday night Fights debut back in May. He's looking for his fourth tonight, but Warwick Folk looking for his fifth. And both guys with a look of Yeah, just you can see Warwick just seems comfortable getting hit at. You know, that's that's a skill you gotta develop too in the gym. You gotta get used to getting hit at and dealing with the punches and the kicks coming at you and always stay focused so that when you get fired upon, you can fire back. 
and you're always in a good stance, in a good strong stance, and to be able to do damage after getting hit. Warwick that Folk looks very angry right now. He's been peppering the inside leg, lead I, leg of. I don't know Kamar if I call Lindsay. it angry or just focused. He's, he looks really focused. And Folk charges forward to end round number one. He knows what he's there for. That was a ferocious first round. Sure was. There's two strong young guys here fighting at 142 pounds. You know, and, 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 and going back to the judges like we spoke about earlier, it, it's, it's tough. You know, me being a commentator, I just started watching Warwick a little bit more and not so much of Lindsay. It's, I can imagine how tough it is to be a judge and not get stuck on one fighter and have to watch both of them back and forth and decide who won the fight and not just watch the flashy guy or the guy you might, you know, thinks has the better skills or maybe a, appeals to you more. Being a judge, it's a tough job. Glad I'm just talking about the fight. I don't have to worry about the outcome. Indeed. Warwick Folk, as my broadcast partner Jason Stroud alluded to, a look of focus and determination throughout that first round. Can say the same about Kamar Lindsay. Let's see what the Lion has in round two. A big looping left hand and a quick start, but a right hand lands for Folk, and that backed up the Lion. Sometimes you get a little too excited, you get caught. You know, it takes, it takes time to learn that. I, I've been there, I get excited, someone hits me, I want to swing hard, and I can't hit them. I take my time and start picking them off with good quality shots. It lands a lot more. Kamara Lindsay has Folk off balance in the corner, but Folk able to respond with the right hand. Some reddening on the right oblique of Warwick Folk, wearing the red trunks with gold trim. Trying to go up high on Lindsay, and Lindsay finds a hole down low. Definitely going for that home run with that left hand, isn't he? So you have Lindsay fighting there southpaw. There it was, tightened it up a little bit more. Lindsay fighting southpaw, Folk fighting in a conventional stance. Nice defense there by Folk, ducking out of the way of. That was a good short Lindsay's right hand left. by Folk, too. Made him miss the, the left hand by Lindsay, and then he came back with a nice short right hand on the inside. Inside leg kick for Lindsay lands with a thud. Folk times the teep, catches it, and sweeps the legs away of Kamar Lindsay. Nice moment for him. Nice moment for Folk, that is. But you can see how focused he is, like I said before. He, even though Lindsay's throwing those big bombs and power shots at him and answering back after he gets kicked, he's still focused. He still knows what he wants to do. He's got a game plan. He's gonna focus on being strong in that stance. He's gonna come walking him down, and he's hunting those legs. Final seconds of round two here. Body kick for Kamar Lindsay, and he'll cap off the round with an inside leg kick. See a little extra, a little extra English on that last one for Kamar the Lion Lindsay. You can already tell after two rounds, not a lot of love in the ring at this point. No, they they both want it. Makes for an exciting fight, that's for sure. Tell you one thing, they're both gonna feel it in those legs tomorrow. You go to sit down on the couch or other things you have to squat for, you feel it. It's the first thing you feel when you wake up. Sometimes just stepping on a bed, your shins burn. You're watching a couple of good moments there for Kamar, Lion, Lindsay. And Warwick Folk, give him credit, responded well as you said, Jason and able to have his moments in round number two as well. So one round to go here in this 142 pound kickboxing matchup at the Class B level. Two decorated Class B fighters. Kamar the Lion Lindsay, 11 and one mark with three knockouts against Warwick Folk, who's 11 and five with four KOs. Both looking to oh. add to their respective totals. Can't be hitting people in the back of the head. I think that's a little bit of frustration there. Chris Wagner, our third man in the ring, keeping an eye on the action, now instructing Kamara Lindsay to keep the hands up. Folk goes up high, Kamara Lindsay goes low. Folk sees an opening there after the inside leg kick. 
I'd like to see Lindsay tighten up that left hand a little bit more. Like I said, shooting straight down the pipe. Faints with the teep there. I like the kicks being thrown by Warwick. He kind of brings him up and loops him over right at the end. Kind of makes like a chopping effect. Right there, look at that. These two guys unloading on each other right now. And some flash photography near ringside. Chris Wagner. That's a shame, breaks up the action. Chris Wagner spotted it and ordered it to a halt. Warwick Folk locked up with Kamara Lindsay. They are throwing things with bad intentions. Big knees coming from both sides here. Tough fight to score here, Jason. Yeah, it is a tough fight to score, that's for sure. Lindsay almost got caught up in the ropes there. I, th I think Warwick's doing, I think he's doing more damage. I think he's throwing more effective blows. You know, he seems to answer back every time after he gets hit. Oh, big shot there. Did Folk he get staggered for just a moment. I'm not sure if he was stunned there. We're gonna have to take a look at that after the round. Folk going back to the body. Lindsay seeing an opening up high. Final seconds of action. Can Lindsay close the show? Big left wow. hand and a knockdown. Wow. Right at the end of the fight, a standing eight count to cap off the fight. That's the end of the round. That's the end of the fight. Tremendous battle between Kamar the Lion Lindsay and Warwick Fulk. And I'll tell you what, that knockdown, that standing eight there at the end, that Jason, could have it. that could change the that fight. That could change it. That could change the outcome of the fight. We're going to find out in just a moment. So really impressive showing by two impressive fighters. Very impressive showing. Let's take they a look They were both here. going for it. Left hand there, looked like it did stack. Yes, indeed. The leg buckled. Kamar Lindsay did buckle him there. Boom, right at the Big side of the head. Big left hand, yes, sir. I think a little bit of the getting caught in the jaw and then spinning around, he kind of lost lost his balance. Didn't really know where he was there for Give a second. Give full credit, though. Regained his composure pretty quickly. Sure but then, did. Then at the end Even of the round. Even here, he tried to kick him after he fell. That's yeah, good stuff. Used the rope. Folk kind of used the rope to get himself back up. And fire the leg into the midsection of Lindsay. But that was, that was some fireworks right there, sure Jason. Sure was. He said, you ain't knocking me down. We do go the distance. We'll have the decision in mere moments on Friday Night Fights. We're live on Facebook at 10.30 p.m. Eastern. We take the show, the UFC Fight Pass. But right now, some business to, to, ten, to tend to here between Lindsay and Fulk. Here's Connor Hall with the official particulars. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we do have our winner, and it is by unanimous decision. All the judges see this 29-27, 29-27, and 30-26 in favor of Brooklyn's own Kimar the Lion, Lindsay. Well, Kamar the Lion, Lindsay, under fire from literally the opening bell, Jason's shot, because as soon as he touched glove with Warwick, with Warwick Folk, he was getting assaulted, but he was able to kind of seize control later in the fight and then a really big third round that included a knockdown, a standing eight, I should say, really put some distance between him and Folk. And yeah, I, an think that might have, I think that might have done, sealed the deal, though, that eight count at the end. Impressive unanimous decision win. And in fact, in fact, a two, two scorecards had a 29-27, and that third round was a 10-8 round for Kamara Lindsay, so yeah. we were likely tied. We were tied going into the third round. Yeah, I think that's what, think that's what did it, yeah. So there you go. So Kamara Lindsay improves an already outstanding record to 12 and one. He now has three, still has three knockouts. A happy moment for his trainer, Greg Arden from Arden Sweet Science in Brooklyn, and also Billy Bello enjoying the victory with his team as well. On the other side, an impressive showing for Warwick Folk in his Friday Night Fights debut will head back to Canada with an 11 and 6 mark. Still impressive though, great showing for him and his team of Crew Naren, Fialkowski, and Charles Luzon. Congratulations to both of these outstanding fighters who impressed as we would expect them to on Friday Night Fights.